D-Melo, D-Melo, Bo Dominican York. Son, coming back at you. Hey, this is another uh, retail cop that, uh, what, this came out maybe a month ago. Uh, this was an easy pickup, right? The, these restocked. Uh, one of these pairs is a restock, and uh, I've got another pair that I actually have worn already that was on a raffle. So I got this time two size nine and a half. So the last time I thought I had two nine and a half in the Jordan one Bordeaux's and one of them was an eight to my surprise. But, you know, I was looking, I think I'm going to trade the two size eights that I ordered by accident, the winterized 14, eight and the Jordan one Bordeaux eight. And uh, I don't know, I might get the Flint 13s. I don't have a Flint 13 in the blue and white, but uh the 13th is one of my favorite uh, silhouettes. It's one of the most iconic in, in my eyes. Um, you know, it was at me seeing Jordan at his peak at my most mature this and, you know, this was his champion, his last championship year for the 13. Uh, and then he wore the 14s, I guess, the last couple games. So we have the last shots. Uh, these are worn again. That's why you see they're dirty. See that bleeding down there? I don't care. But it goes to show you good, you know, QC, even from the factory. Uh, let's go. Seeing if the shades look different. This is from two different boxes. Shades are the same. I'm going to see one's new, dead stock. Same thing. Oh, I didn't notice that they had that divot in the front. But the 13 is, to me, a very comfortable shoe. Uh, I love wearing the 13. Uh, you see how I lace them up? So that way there's no uh, having to lace them up. I just slip in. get back out nice and easy i got it i don't take the plastic off how many people actually raise your hand if you take the plastic off of the uh cat's eye this is in my natural size a nine and a half Let's see if i can get the insole out it should just be the six is a deck of card it's cardboard at the bottom. This feels like cardboard at the bottom as well. It's, I feel a little bit of glue resistance. I've already taken the shoe tree out. Nice, simple black foam, a darker blue than usual. You see the uh, Jordan ones usually have a lighter blue or gray. Um, going up a little bit high on the midfoot with the glue, uh, no Nike Air, just uh, a Jordan Jumpman on the heel, the insole, nope, regular, it is a regular insole, or a footbed, see that, good stitching, See what the QC looks like. Let's see. Let's see what the QC looks like on these. These are super clean. A little bit of glue right there. I don't know if you guys could pick that up. A little bit of glue, a little bit of glue, but well constructed shoe. Of course, we're not looking for we're not looking for flaws. We're looking for quality control issues with Nike because these are factory shoes, so they're not reps. Uh, good quality control, I think, better than the Obsidian Thirteens. I've got like three pairs of the Obsidian. Now I got two pairs now of the Obsidian Thirteens. One that I rocked, one that I got dead stock, and then one that I gifted. I had three. I sold. A pair.
pair. I think those Obsidian 3s, uh, Obsidian 13s are beautiful. Uh, I want to get the Flint 13s. I had a size 10. That was right when I started to get back into uh, buying sneakers a little heavy. It's when, I, when the Flint 10s came out. So what really got me back in was those Chunky Dunkies. That was the first sneaker drop that I went for on the sneakers app. The Chunky Dunkies. Uh, I know that this is not a hype shoe. Uh, this is not a moneymaker shoe. Uh, but this is a good one to rock. I sold. I had the white pair. The white version of these. Uh, the white with the purple. that I got for retail. Minus you know, my military discount or whatever. So I got them for like less than 200 bucks. Um, you know. And I don't know why I sold them. But I sold them for 200 bucks. Or a little more than 200 bucks actually. I sold them. I gotta look it up on e sold it on eBay. So honestly, I think I sold them for closer to three hundred dollars. I'm gonna look it up and on another video if I remember. I'll say if I did or did not. Um, sorry that I pulled the shoe away, but hey, uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Please hit the like button. Please hit the thumbs up. Um, share the video. Subscribe. Uh, I like to be here. I like to share stuff that I get. My passion of shoes has now taken me into a rep buying uh, phase of my life where I started to film my rep buying and it's been fun doing it. Uh, I can't believe I am over 300 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know I don't do much. I feel like I don't do much. Uh, all I do is kind of, you know, I'm gonna put that away later. That's kind of difficult. I wanted to show you the box, so I wanted to put that away real quick and show you the box. One of my boxes came crunched right when a lot of YouTubers were talk, were showing or a lot of people were showing. There was a video of like a bunch of boxes destroyed, orange Nike boxes destroyed uh, from shipping. This is my natural size of nine and a half. Natural size of nine and a half. Uh, this is last year, so it still had the uh, price on it. No stamp on the top of the box. Regular tissue paper. Nothing on the inside of the box. I'm curious if the other box is the same. They should be duplicates, right? No stamp, tissue paper. Nothing on the inside. They are identical, ladies and gentlemen. They are identical. Pull the dead stock pair up. What do you think, guys? Uh, I really like these. 13 is one of my favorite silhouettes. What are yours? Uh, comment. I like to comment and reply back. I do that fairly quickly if you guys have questions. Uh, if you want to know about the reps and where I get the reps, hit me up on Instagram at rivera.bow. Again, hit me up on Instagram if you want to know about where I'm getting uh, replicas of these shoes. I haven't bought a 13 replica. I do want to get a, um, there's a lot of 13 replicas that I want from the Ben 13s, um, the bread 13s, the dirty bread 13s. There's a lot of 13s that I want, but, uh, again, because I wasn't a Jordan collector, I was a Jordan fan, but never a Jordan buyer. Uh, I would buy New Balance. I, I did. I always forget. I always forget to mention that I, I, I wore a lot. I've worn a lot of New Balance, even though I only have three New Balance right now. I have been wearing New Balance since the late '80s, uh, but there's only one New Balance that I rock, and that's a five seven four. Uh, a five seven four New Balance. I don't rock any of the other New Balances that are actually hitting right now and and on a trend. But uh, guys, I think this is a beautiful shoe. I'm glad that I got two. I might end up trading one, but I think it's a shoe, you know, I like purple. Uh, it's a dark shoe. It goes with everything. I don't know why I sold the white ones. I wish I would have kept them because they do look good on foot. Uh, this is a nine and a half. They do fit true to size for me. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. Bo Dominican York. Que Dios te bendiga. Peace.